New into stock, we have a Land Rover Freelander 2. It's a 2.2 SD4 HSE four wheel drive. Five door as you would expect, 2013 on a 62 plate. Quite a few extras. Uh, it's some 39,600 miles. Fuel economy, urban 32.5, extra urban 48.7. Combined is 40.4. Nought to 60 time of 8.7 seconds and a top speed of 180 miles an hour out of a 190 brake horsepower engine. It's MOT'd until the uh, 13th of the 6th, 2019. Six months road tax will cost you £137.50 and 12 months £250. So that's, that's not too bad. It's uh, finished in metallic blue. We've got uh, Xenon headlights. You've got the daytime running lights and also headlamp wash. 10 spoke alloys and they're shod with continental cross contacts so good tyres all round rear privacy glass plenty of room in the back we've also got the thick plastic load protector load cover blind the seats split 60-40 and fold down pretty much uh, flat Rear privacy glass as well, rear wash white, and also you've got uh, reversing sensors in the back bumper. I'll just show you in the back. Quite a lot of room in the back here. You've also got this, uh, it's a twin sunroof, so you've got a, a glass panel over the uh, rear passengers. You've also got a shade band to pull across if the sun's too strong, uh, which would be nice. Rear armrest. Little bit of storage, two cup holders there. You have got three seat belts and the Isofix child seat fasteners. Meridian speakers in the back here as well and uh, electric windows storage there. I'll just take you for a drive in it. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Tell you uh, a little bit about the service history. Get that out of the way. We have two keys for it. It's uh, remote central locking and then keyless ignition. So far we've got uh, two services for it, the first one Land Rover Company Vehicles on the 5th of 12, 2013, um, 13,663 miles, then we have a service on the 5th of 11, 2015, 25,769 and rear brake pads were fitted. That was done at Andrew Dobson 4x4. Now we've since we've been trying to track down some more service history. We'll service it before it goes out. But this chap has uh, MOT'd the vehicle as well for the last few years. We've uh, we've put two calls in and a text to him trying to find out and uh, confirm. So uh, I'll put that in, uh, in the description if we can come up with any more service history. The car has done 40,466 miles now. So as I say, we'll, we'll service it before it goes out, but we will try and trace um, a, a little bit more service history if we can. So, finished in uh, metallic blue. I'm not quite sure of the shade. It has black leather. We've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Oh, actually, I've just noticed there, we've, we've also got heated steering wheel, which is a fantastic extra. Of course, the, the Land Rover's um, come with a heated front screen as well so th those two are, are tremendous options in the, in the, in the winter. We've got aircon 2 and heated seats. I'll just switch the aircon on a little bit. And we've got uh, front and rear parking sensors. twin glass sunroofs. I've just moved that, I've got my camera plugged in so that's uh, going to rattle. 
probably the the trouble with these with keyless entry is that once you've opened the car you've nowhere to put the damn keys uh, I, I've got to be honest I prefer having a an ignition lock and I, I think it's actually safer the, the steering wheel is toasty already now I really like Freelanders for some reason um, when you get in other four-wheel drive or four-wheel drive type vehicles they never seem the same as Land Rovers whether then it's because obviously Land Rovers have probably been going longer making this type of vehicle but these always seem to feel very very solid and they always make you feel like it doesn't matter what the weather's like you can go anywhere you just jump in it and aim it and, and that's it you you're going to get where you're going we do very well with these with the automatic freelanders as well which this is you can just knock it over to the left and use that as a semi-automatic or clutchless manual just by moving the gear stick backwards and forwards to uh, change up and down like so but far better just to stick it in drive sat nav it's got hands-free or Bluetooth hands-free it's also got Bluetooth audio streaming um, I have cruise control on the left hand side of the steering wheel your telephone controls on the right hand side your climate control here heated seats just there good engine a number of years ago I, I bought an old Land Rover I was doing a house up and I needed something to tow a trailer I bought an old Defender and this feels like the old Defender in a good way very very solid positive steering it's just uh, move that mirror in we've also got uh, power folding door mirrors yep both the door mirrors work and we've got electric windows are okay too. I know the heated seat's okay on this side. We'll just put the one on the passenger side just to check. The air con's fine, blowing out nice cool air. That's my camera gear moving about in the back. Just give it a bit of gas there. Over the years when I've worked for new franchises, new car franchises, and you always get invited on the new car launch and the tests, and the, the four-wheel drive ones are, are most fun because they take you off-road, and you wouldn't believe what the cars will do and, and what angles they'll get to and what descents will do. I, mean, I must actually try and get some invites and then I can uh, cut the... Uh, cut the footage into these test drives because um, certainly Land Rovers 
uh, they'll, they'll go over some scary terrain. Just, um, that's the phone there, my phone's paired to it at the moment. And then if you go into audio, uh, my music, phone, Meridian speakers in here are, are tremendous, they really are. The, the previous owner's got uh, quite a good taste in music, it's uh, he or she, she um, has uh, left a CD in, which is Baby Driver, or the soundtrack from Baby Driver. So that uh, kind of tells me he or she was a car person and looked after this really well. It's nice to see a car that's a couple of years old with um, premium tyres on. If anybody's going to skimp on servicing, then it's going to be on the tyres. Try and get up to 70. In fact, I might have to go in the outside lane here. Up to 70. Cruise on. Oops, I'm going too fast. Sorry. I didn't. Right, we'll try again. So that's uh, there, 70 there or thereabouts. We're doing 2,000 revs less than 2,000 revs, 1,900 revs. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. It's pretty windy in the UK today. Not very nice at all, the weather. But as I say, it's, uh, it's no problem in one of these, it doesn't matter what happens. It can snow and you're gonna get where you're going. Suspension's really nice. Quite bumpy on this section of the motorway and also quite noisy and uh, no problems. So on the right hand side here, you've got, there you can change your vehicle setup and go through the menus. Uh, change radio stations and also mode back onto my CD, my, sorry, my phone. The cathedral's there. But, uh, can't play too much, otherwise YouTube will knock the uh, soundtrack off for copyright infringement. back onto nav. There you go, it's showing the exits ahead of me. I'll show you how to work the sat nav, I'll show you how to program the phone and also um, stream audio and delete a mobile. When we get back to the garage, then there's one of the new discoveries and, and this I would say looks more imposing than the uh, the little discovery anyway. Somehow I, I think the new Range Rovers and uh, Land Rovers are, are becoming a little bit too rounded and losing tradition. Great road holding. If anything, it oversteers. Going around corners.
guy eating his sandwiches there and his mug. Yep, the heated seat's working on the passenger side. Well, I'm indicating, but the guy's still right up my tailgate. These are the type of roads the Freelanders made for. How to cause an accident in one easy lesson. stopping to take phone calls in stupid places and I'm pretty sure that car will have Bluetooth as standard See all, over all the hedges. It's. Uh, I, I must be in a hurry today. I don't know why, but this car's running away with me. I have to keep checking my speed. I don't usually drive fast. Bit of wind noise there until the uh, wind deflector at the front deploys, but then not too bad. And then you've got the blind there, which slides across easy enough. Don't need that to be electric. There's something else to go wrong. It's uh, got kind of this. Uh, walnut inlay to the dash uh, right along the uh, center line of it nice contrast stitching on the leather leathers like new A good combination uh, blue metallic and uh, dark gray leather or the the drivers well both front seats are electric driver's seat is a three position memory Terrain response control is here. Not that uh, many will ever get used, I don't suppose, but it's there if you need to get out of a, a muddy field or off a beach. 
these front centre armrests are adjustable from this uh, wheel underneath. Nice thick door cards. Say the great four-wheel drives at junctions, you can see over the car usually on the side of you. Seats are built up slightly but not too much to make it difficult to get in and slide across, just enough to hold you in position. Plenty of room in the back, plenty of load space, and if you need more the back seats will fold down. It's just a just a, a handy side size car, not too big. You still find parking spaces for it, but you can uh, for at least can travel in comfort. Here we go. 